right, thank you, Mike. And uh, two of the big highlights tonight, of course, the speeches by New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and Donald Trump Jr. Christie, as uh, Mike just showed us, got the crowd fired up when he talked about Clinton's email scandal and at one point had them shouting this. Can't make that out there, chanting, lock her up. Let's bring in 13 Action News political analyst John Ralston to talk about uh, these big moments. And, and, and the theme, as Mike Sachs mentioned, was put America to work again, or make America work again. But uh, Christie obviously put the uh, prosecutorial uh, resume on, on show tonight. Yeah, he was putting himself to work, as, like, <laughs> as he said, maybe auditioning for yeah. Attorney General, certainly putting his old U.S. attorney head on. But think about this, Steve. A, a political convention where a group of people is chanting, and it wasn't just during Christie's speech, lock her up, lock her up. They're not just talking about beating the other nominee. They're talking about putting her in prison. And you know what? It's resonating with that crowd. It, 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 it ties together with Trump calling her crook at Hillary. They're trying to create that message out of this convention, and I'm sure that is what his acceptance speech on Thursday night is going to be all about. What do you think, uh, what do you think of Christie? I mean, we had Dr. Ben Carson out there tonight, too, so a couple of, of vanquished rivals uh, on the stage tonight, and Christie seemed uh, very committed to getting Donald Trump in the White House. There was a lot of talk that Christie was very upset about not being picked as the vice presidential uh, uh, running mate with Trump, but he was out there tonight. He gave, I mean, if you like raw meat, political speeches, <laughs> that's what you give at conventions. His was, was, was the most like that. Ben Carson's speech, even for Ben Carson, even by his standards was bizarre. He talked about Lucifer, maybe the first time Lucifer's ever been invoked <laughs> at a political convention, essentially saying Hillary Clinton was an agent of the devil. Uh, I, I think even some people in the crowd weren't so sure what to make about that. But Chris Christie, I think, really captured what the convention is all about. He said, make America work again was the theme tonight. That had nothing to do right. with the theme tonight. It was really put Hillary Clinton in jail at the, tonight. That was more of Don, Donald Trump Jr.'s uh, speech, and I think we have some video of that. He had a couple of good lines and talked about uh, just his father's uh, ability to, to make him into the man he is today and called his father his best friend and his mentor. Opinion. So uh, Donald Trump Jr. Was, was the one who carried the uh, Make America Work Again uh, mantra. You know, it's interesting. Uh, Donald Trump Jr. tonight sounded much more like a traditional Republican than his dad ever has in, in this entire campaign. There was a lot of talk on social media that he had given the best speech of the entire convention, <laughs> uh, that, that, that he essentially presented a true conservative message that, that Donald Trump, uh, the father, really has not. Uh, there's some controversy now with his speech. Now, uh, another plagiarism allegation. Right. This one's a little bit different, though. Well, not like Melania Trump, who, whoever wrote her speech lifting passages from this Michelle is Obama. This Buckley. Yeah, this is a speechwriter yes. you just mentioned, yeah. F.H. Buckley, essentially recycling some of his old material. So it's a, it's, it's a different kind of offense. Some would say it's not an offense at all. Well, yeah, F.H. Buckley tonight said not an right, issue. Right, not a okay. problem. All right, thanks, John. We'll be back with you later. Yeah.